if I'm not mistaken, the people that do Street Outlaws also do survive. Like the producers for Survivor and Street Outlaws are the same. And we're always talking about, oh, Street Outlaws is going to, people like, I mean, I don't talk about this. I, we don't really talk about this, but people talk about Street Outlaws is going to be gone in a couple years. Look at that Survivor show. I think they do The Bachelor as well. I think it's The Bachelor and Survivor, because I looked this up one time, or one of you guys told me, and I was shocked. Look at like The Bachelor and Survivor. Those shows have been around for years, and they're not going anywhere anytime soon. They're still on TV season after season after season. Like I remember hearing about Survivor when I was in like elementary school. I'm a senior year in college now. Like, this show's been going on forever, and it's showing no signs of stopping anytime soon. And I'm sure throughout all these years, they've had their ups and downs with viewership and rating and all that stuff. And now that we're really kind of comparing the two, the commonality between all of these shows, you've got Survivor, Bachelor, Street Outlaws, is the producer, the executive producer, that Sam Corcus, if I'm not mistaken, the executive producer. If he's the same thing among those three shows, this one and this one have been going on for decades at this point. Yeah, Trip Rogers, Survivor's 20 plus years. I don't think Street Outlaws is going anywhere anytime soon. People might want to say it is, oh, Street Outlaws is ending. This is the end. We're not going to see it anymore. No one wants to see this crap, this and that. Oh, it's going to be over. Bring so and so back. Show more of this. Show less of that. No. With this guy in charge, the executive producer of The Bachelor and Survivor, it's not going anywhere anytime soon. Street Outlaws is going to be one of those shows. That thing's still on. People are going to be saying that 15 years from now. 